The Holy Tales A long, long time ago, there lived a man called Elkanah and his wife called Hannah. Now Hannah had no children and was very unhappy about it. They went to Shiloh to offer their prayers to the Lord. After they finished their meal at the house of the Lord, Hannah felt very sad. She cried and prayed to the Lord for a son. Eli, the priest, was sitting by the door. Hannah prayed and made a promise to God. Dear Lord, if you give me a son, I promise that I will give him back to you to serve you all his life. Hannah went on praying for a long time while Eli watched her. She was praying silently, but her lips were moving. Eli thought she was just a silly woman and asked her to be quiet. She answered, I have been praying about my troubles to the Lord. Hearing this, Eli asked her to go back home. He was sure that the Lord would hear her prayers. The next day, Elkanah and Hannah went back home and a few days later, she gave birth to a son. Because she asked the Lord for him, she named him Samuel. Holy, that was such a wonderful story. I loved it. Gumbo, don't be silly. We all love the story, not just you. All right, all right. Today, I shall tell you another story about Samuel the prophet. Long time ago, Eli, the priest of Shiloh, was training a young boy, Samuel, to serve the Lord. Months and years passed. Eli was now a very old man, and Samuel grew up to be a young man, preparing himself to serve the Lord. One night, suddenly, before dawn broke, Samuel heard a voice calling him. He thought it was Eli looking for him. He went to Eli's room, but it wasn't him who had called Samuel. This happened two more times. The third time, when Samuel went to Eli's room to see whether Eli had really called him or not, Eli understood that it was the Lord who was trying to speak to Samuel. So he sent him back to his room and said, Next time, when the voice calls you, say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Samuel went back to his room and the voice called him again. He replied exactly the way Eli had taught him. God then spoke to Samuel and said, I am going to punish Eli and his family because his sons have spoken evil things about me. No offering or sacrifice will ever remove the punishment of their sin. The next morning, Samuel told Eli what the Lord told him. As Samuel grew up, the Lord was always with him. Soon the people of Israel believed that Samuel was indeed a man of the Lord. To watch more videos, please subscribe. A long time ago, Samuel, a wise man, had chosen Saul as the king of the Israelites. But God had rejected him because he had become too proud. Often, when Samuel would think about Saul, his eyes would fill with tears. He was still upset by Saul's behavior. When God saw Samuel hurt, he said, Till when will you cry for Saul? It is foolish for you to do so, since you know I have rejected him as king. It is true that he will be punished. God told Samuel to fill his horn with holy oil and go to Bethlehem. God said, There is a farmer who lives there. His name is Jesse. I have chosen one of his sons to become the next king of Israel. So Samuel went to Bethlehem. He decided to have a feast in honor of God and called everyone in town. Everyone was excited about the feast. Jesse and his sons also came. Samuel called Jesse to introduce himself and his sons. One by one, they introduced themselves. Every time Samuel would think to himself, 
maybe this is the one chosen to be the king. But God would say no. Soon Jesse had introduced all his sons, and yet Samuel had not found the one. Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all your sons? Jesse said, No, my youngest son David is looking after the sheep. Samuel quickly sent for David. When David finally arrived, Samuel said to him, One day you will be the king of Israel, but right now you are too young, so return to your sheep. But prepare yourself for the future, young man, because God has plans for you. Saying this, he poured holy oil on David's head in front of his brothers. From that day, the Spirit of God stayed with David. All right then. A woman had prayed to the Lord for a son and had promised that if she did have one, she would offer him for service to God. Her son's name was Samuel, a wise man. During this time, the Israelites had an enemy called the Philistines. The Philistines wanted to fight the Israelites and take over the promised land. The Israelites decided to choose a king who could lead them into battle. So they went to Samuel to ask him for his help. They told him, You must find us someone fit to be a king. Samuel asked God for advice. God said to Samuel, They have rejected me, Samuel. Not you. Do as they ask. Find them a king to lead them into battle. But explain to them what it means to have a king before you do anything else. Samuel went to the elders and said to them, I am ready to find you a king. But first you must understand what it will mean to have a king. He will take over your sons for the army and ask for taxes. He will also take one tenth of your best produce. He will do what is best for you, but you will be under his rules and have to obey him. But the elders really wanted to have a king. So Samuel chose a handsome man called Saul. In the beginning, Saul proved to be a good king. He raised a strong army and fought the Philistines. But soon, he became very proud. He broke many religious laws and stopped listening to Samuel. Samuel said to Saul one day, So, since you have rejected God, God has rejected you as king. Samuel never saw Saul again after that day. He decided to look for a new king for the Israelites. Okay, Tubby, who did Samuel choose as the king? I know! Samuel chose Saul as the king for the Israelites. That is very good, Tubby. Now, it is time to go and finish your homework. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.